This video is in the relationships of hue as we discussed in color relativity this week. So, you know, at this point I've fully saturated all of our uh, our hues. You know, and we have here in the centers an orange, fully saturated. You know, and this will be the case for all the examples. I'll go ahead and show you real quickly so we don't have to do it again. You can see there's no change. This is all very consistent. So the idea with hue, you know, there's two aspects. One is the background subtracts itself, but it also adds its complement. Now based on kind of proximity, it usually shows which one of these ideas is dominant. What what we see the most is happening in a relation is specifically, you know, looking at hue. So, you know, with an orange, you know, if we switch over to RGB, you know, we can see here that it's two parts red, one part green, you know, by the values 255, you know, and we can talk about saturation more, you know, in another context of looking at RGB, but right now, you know, except that this is fully saturated based on the HSB values. So, you know, when we think about red, you know, we know that red is not only R255, there's no green in it, there's no blue in it. So the idea here is by the red subtracting itself from this orange, you allow that green to become more dominant, you know, as we saw here in the RGB. So this proportional relationship of two to one kind of changes, you know, and, and in essence, by adding, letting green become dominant, it begins to look more of a yellow orange. You know, it has that push, you know, and if you're having trouble with the idea of hues, you know, look at something like, you know, the clock is a good example. If you've definitely taken drawing, you know, they use it to kind of determine angles, you know, and all the hours are at 30 degree marks, you know, so the idea with red red being here at like 12 o'clock and orange being here at 1 o'clock, you know, it's going to subtract itself. It's basically pushing this, you know, orange towards, you know, yellow by allowing that green to become, you know, more control. And we have the same idea when we're adding a complement, but we'll talk about that in a moment. So on this side here, you know, going back to our example of subtracting hues, you know, we have this yellow, you know, yellow being, you know, equal parts of red and green. You know, this this one in uh, blue is a decrease in saturation. We can probably see it HSB. Um, yeah, we have a 1% decrease here. You know, but the yellow basically is equal parts. And the idea is that it's it's kind of subtracting equally, you know, from this relationship we have in orange. You know, and, you know, if you think about the traditional system for a moment, you know, yellow and red make orange. So, you know, it's a little easier to think about the components in that respect, you know, when thinking about orange. So allowing, you know, in a in a way that you know red still remains dominant but both are being reduced it would kind of make this creation of where red becomes the dominant color you know by subtracting you know these yellow aspects of you know the orange out so you know if we're you know we can look at some other examples of other colors you know but that's kind of the key idea here is that you know you're you're subtracting some component of this center color and allowing it to you know basically be pushed in another direction you know in the case of you know yellow being at like two o'clock you know it's pushing you know the orange you know closer to red you know the 12 o'clock position so thinking about strictly complements, you know, we have the same basic idea happening here. You know, in the background we have this, you know, blue fully saturated, you know, and it's adding the complement yellow. So, you know, thinking again of the traditional system, which makes it a little simpler for some of you, is that we have this, you know, orange and we're increasing the amount of yellow in it. You know, basically making it a yellow orange. You know, whereas with the cyan we have this complement of red, you know, which is increasing the red aspects of orange. You know, in in this case, for our dramatic situation, we are looking for a push in opposite directions. You know, we don't want to have a situation where we have, you know, the yellow, you know, a yellow background and also a cyan background, because that, in that case, you know, the cyan's adding red, the yellow's subtracting, you know, yellow from the orange, and both centers will be pushing towards red. You know, and that's the case where we're looking for this opposite directions for the most significant dramatic, you know, change that we can create based on the theory. You know, and down here in the example, you know, we seen earlier, you know, I've mixed these up. And you can, you know, based on what you're experiencing, you can go, you know, mix it and use both a subtraction, you know, where you're subtracting red aspects of orange and then adding red aspects back through a complementary background. You know, and it's something to think about, you know, you you want to support what you're seeing with your theory or maybe even you know have the theory correct but say I'm not really seeing it I'm not getting these visual illusions that we're kind of alluding to in this assignment so let's go you know from here see where we're at and hopefully we can get this all straightened out this week thanks